Well, hey guys, it's Seven Demo Seven. How are you guys doing? Now, um, one of the things I love about this hobby and also having a YouTube channel is uh, people who actually help other people, people sharing their knowledge. And this is Ben. He contacted me through RC Groups and said, "Hey, let's grab our DLGs and we're local. Let's uh, let's get out and fly." And I tell you, he was able to give me a couple of small tips that had I not heard from him i would have it would have taken me months to actually find some of these this these things oh out gosh. so thank you so much to ben um i hope you guys enjoy this video and you hope you gain a little bit of knowledge as well and i will talk to you guys after the video it's amazingly light you can take five grams on your tail you just saved mm -hmm. you know 15 or 20 grams in the nose yeah you'll, you'll have to give me some tips on launching i'm i'm okay at I, I learned this too, so I'll just tell you what the guys taught me. Well, there, there are several different modes for DLG flight. Okay. You have uh, launch, zoom, and um, pu oh, pushover. That's pushover, okay, pushover. yeah, yeah. Launch is just um, leaving your arm and the curve up to vertical, or mm -hmm. near vertical, about yeah. 80 degrees actually. Yeah. Um, so that's launch. And then from launch, you want to have, so you want to have a, I don't, it's not on my momentary, but I have it over here that I just flipped. Uh -huh. So you want, a for, for launch, you want max LOD, you want, or you want max lift okay. to rotate. So, so uh, uh, elevate, um, L so ailerons have, down just a, a smidge? Yeah, so I have, okay. so I have a little bit of ailerons down. Yeah, okay. A little bit of, of, of flaperon, and then a little bit of elevator up. And you okay. tweak the elevator based on your wind condition. Sometimes you want more. If you're launching into the wind, you don't need as much elevator because it's going to be more effective. Right, right, okay. Um, and a dead, on a dead day, you need a little bit more, depending on how you want it. How, you, how you want it to curve up, When okay. you want to flatten out, you release your launch switch, uh -huh. and it flattens out the elevator, and it puts some reflex in your wing because you okay. want zero you want, lift. you want speed at that you point, right? Max, you want max or min drag yeah, for yeah. zoom. Right, 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 right. So right. you want absolutely flat. You want to go straight and then push over, when I, well, I have a, a logic switch in here that when I push over, it takes the reflex out okay. of the wing. Okay. Wow. Any, any elevator input will just take the, the reflex out. So guys, this has been just giving it a leisure toss uh, to start off with, to kind of feel out the field, um, get warmed up as well. I, I would assume you wouldn't want to give it your hardest toss right off the bat. You need to get warmed up, get your muscles loose and everything. Uh, so nice ginger toss that he uh, he did here, and uh, it actually stayed up for quite a long time, even with the, the easy toss. Yeah, that's good. That was a great launch. I always go off to the side. So, not always, but. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was wondering what you were going to do there. <laughs> oh, so the other thing that Tandy, that, that helps on the launch, uh -huh. um, is if you're right-handed, you want uh, right rudder dialed in. Oh, okay. For just the launch portion. Yeah. Uh, if you're left-handed, you want left rudder dialed in um, to straighten it out. So the light is really subtle. But, right, yeah. Uh, down the oh yeah, that's a t yeah, very tiny bit. Yeah, that is awesome, dude. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you want to get as much rotation and twist in your body as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. You can just see how efficient it is. Oh, yeah. It's really amazing. I just, I'm like launching 150, 150, you know, 160, 170. And yeah. I can't hook anything, and then all of a sudden I get a like a 180, 190 launch. Yeah. And I like get above the sink, and all of a sudden, like I just go up. 
<laughs> you were like two feet off the ground way over there. How did you catch it over here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> You're going into the wind with your flaps down. Come on. <laughs> Nice. That's that looks higher than I've ever gotten it, so. Nice dude. That was a good launch. Yeah, so now you're able to catch some thermals there. Yeah, yeah, Which you got it high enough to actually get into some things. Yeah. But it then it really like cleans up. <laughs> um, like when you when you pour that on, it just speeds up. It does, it does, um, yeah. So that's that's nice. It's got a good, it's a good little plane. You know? But yeah, something's weird in like it's you gotta have some some launch mix that will help flatten out the launch because it rotates yeah. hard. Yeah, I wasn't sure. And See, because maybe, because I'm so inexperienced, I wasn't sure if that was my throwing it's, technique. No, 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 it's not your throw. It's because when you're throwing, the the outboard wing is going so much faster than the inboard. Yeah. So it's making way more lift, which is what's always gonna roll left. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, or if you're a lefty, it's gonna roll right. Right. Yeah. Um, so if I'm a righty, I want the rudder to, to be aiming right, is that correct? Yeah, because right. I yeah. want it to go that way. So guys, after implementing some of Ben's changes to my LaBelle, which is a, a beginner style um, DLG, I was able to eke out a 2 minute and 45 second flight up at Kite Hill with zero lift. I was actually able, instead of going 40 to 50 feet high, I was able to get to probably 80 if not maybe even close to 100 feet. Um, ben was absolutely, when you get above some of the sink that's happening down below, you get up into some of the lift, uh, and it really makes a huge difference. So once again, thank you so much, Ben, uh, for sharing your knowledge. I'm sure we're going to get out and fly soon. That's the end of this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.